Hey what's up everyone, this is the interesting javascript library of the week series. I am Nitij and in this 8th episode, I will show you a JS library which we can use to utilize a publicly available Google spreadsheet as a readable tabular database. That library is DriveDB. This library can be pretty useful when we want to publicly share tabular data but at the same time, we also want to display that data in a web page in a meaningful format. Like for example, we can create a data table or we can create charts etc. The possibilities are really too many and the usage is very simple. So this is how a typical Google spreadsheet looks like. It is similar to how MS Excel works. We can have different sheets and within all of these sheets we can have data arranged in a tabular format. When we will fetch this tabular data using DriveDB into our web page, then DriveDB will treat the first row as the columns for this entire table. So for this spreadsheet, the columns are ID, first name and last name and the value which is fetched is in the JSON format. So the return data is an array and each array is containing these values in the form of key and value pairs. For example, for each row, we are going to have the property as ID and then its value and then the property first name and last name and then their values etc. DriveDB can be installed for our projects in one of two different ways. We can either simply add the script tag in a HTML page and then we can point its SRC attribute to its CDN URL or we can install DriveDB using npm by executing the command npm install and then DriveDB. Let's now see a very simple code example about how we can use DriveDB. We are going to fetch this tabular data using DriveDB into our HTML page and then we will create a HTML table using this data. So let's do that. So this is an empty index.html page and first let's just add some HTML content to it. Let's set a meaningful title for this page. And now for this web page, all we need to do is to copy this script tag and then paste it into the head element like over here. Now, because fetching the data from the Google spreadsheet is going to be an async operation, this is why I'm going to first create an async function and let's just call this function as load data. Inside this load data function, all we need to do is to simply fetch the tabular data by calling the drive function which will be available when we will get the reference of this library in our web page but because this is an async function we are going to put the await keyword over here so that it will act as a sequential execution of statements while it is not going to be like that because it will simply wait for the data to return from this statement before moving on to the next line of code and now in this drive function we need to provide the argument which is going to be the id for our spreadsheet and i will show you how we can fetch that id the documentation says that we can get the ID like this, this bold part. So we can get this ID from our Google spreadsheet, which is this one. And I'm just going to copy it and then let's just paste it into this function as an argument. And now let's log this data into the console by calling console.log and then we can provide the data as an argument. And then we will also need to call the load data function to be able to execute this statement. And now it's time to open up this web page in the web browser and we can do that by using the live server extension of Visual Studio Code. This will create a local server. We can press the F12 to open up the console and there is our array of tabular data which has been received from the Google spreadsheet whose ID we have provided. So there are two rows and there are three columns, ID, first name and last name. And you can see that in this array, the objects are in this format. The property names are the name of the columns and the values are the values within each row. And now we can use this data to construct a HTML table. To create a HTML table from the data which is being fetched from the Google spreadsheet. First, I am just going to create a table element over here with the ID data table. And I will not bore you by writing each statement of code for constructing the table using the data. So I'm just going to paste the code over here because it is really simple enough. All we are doing is first we are simply fetching the reference of the table which we have created over here. And then we are checking if this returned data has any rows or not. If it does have rows, then we are simply creating a um, new table header and table row elements for the columns and for each of the row of the data which is being returned and then we are adding the table cells for individual item values 
so this is how we can construct a basic html table and this is how it is looking these are the columns and these are the individual rows this is just a very basic example but you get the idea right if you don't have an immediate way to save your data on this server for your websites or for your web applications and when you know that the data which you are going to show is going to be public anyways then you can simply create a google spreadsheet which is easy enough to do and then you can fetch the tabular data using drive db into your web page and then you can show that data in any way you would like to and that is everything that this episode has to offer if you like drive db then please don't forget to place a star on its github page or maybe sponsor it if you want to if you like this library too much so do check out its GitHub page to learn more about it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm Nitej and I will see you next time. Till then, stay safe and take care of yourselves.